Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Dreamland with KK. So today for this episode, we're going to be visiting the lovely yellow sandy beaches of Float Islands. <gasps> it's a fish! Hey, hey, hey! My hawk! So, bringing out the lovely touch of yellow here. Uh, or some people might argue and say that's more like caramel or salmon color. Hey, this is where the difficulty kind of picks up. Uh, pretty much you have fish everywhere, but that's not the big problem. There's waddle doos Cannons in the water with lag helping me a little bit Monsters that shoot beams everywhere monsters that come out of nowhere freaking squids that love to jump apparently And kind of have no effect on uh, they have no effect for gravity. Here's the microphone now Whee! And gotta watch out for these nuts I guess they're coconuts, I guess. You gotta jump around them just to avoid them. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Usually, by the t by this level, I die miserably. <laughs> Hopefully not. But the music is very serene. Uh, also, in many uh, Kirby games, they kind of use the same old music. I mean, the music is quite catchy, you have to admit. Especially for the uh, island or... <laughs> Teleportation tricks are not cool, man. Uh, especially for the island kind of levels. So I think this is where one of the one-ups is located, if I'm not mistaken. Yes! All in the sparkly star water. It's Poland Springs. Mm -hmm. Those enemies are really a pain. The Chizos, I think they're called. Or whatever. Or I'm mixing up with another enemy. Snap. So you can go up or down, I go up just for the sake of getting a tomato. I mean, if tomatoes in real life did give you full health, I mean, I would definitely eat them. But I'm a type of tomato sauce person, not a tomato person. There's a difference. Big difference. Oh, this area is going to be a pain in the butt. <gasps> Spicy curry! Now this is awesome because this is one of the en uh not enemies, one of the items that actually lets you just chuck fireballs from your mouth. You can't really suck up anything much, but you can have fun with flames. The only problem is when you touch water, it disappears, like I'm about to do now, just to get one up for the sake. Oh, oh apparently this stage has two. I could be wrong. Maybe each stage has two one ups. Oh, whatever. By the way, I'm trying to do this whole LP in one sitting. If you might have guessed. Uh, j just to make it that much easier for me. I mean, the whole game can be played in about, you know, 30 minutes, maybe 40 flat. I'm not kidding. So it's a really nice short game. Well! Fail, well. Whee! And into the sky you go, Kirby. I mean, Kirby's home really is in the sky. I mean, he's a freaking marshmallow that flies and floats like a balloon. Okay, so this item lets you float instantly and shoot puffs of clouds. With this boss, he's pretty much just a cannon on a balloon. Or, I should say, a blimp. Or whatever you want to call it. He's a little bit more difficult than some of the other bosses, because he can actually, like, ram into you, and the cannonballs can be kind of annoying. But he's really not that tough. As you can see, he's dead! He's not just dead, he's D-A-D -D dead. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Kirby's Dreamland, and stay tuned for the next episode with me. Da -na -na -na. So thank you guys, and hopefully you have lots of cotton candy in the clouds. See you guys later.